Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to find out minimum and maximum number from an array element. So here, we are going to use ECMAScript 6 to find out this minimum and maximum array element. So we are using an anonymous function to get this result, right? So before we start this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified of my every new video and also press the like button if you find anything useful in this video. So let's get started. So here I will first create an anonymous function here. So I will select mean is equal to and specify arrow function. So I will just say bracket and specify two arguments. So the first argument is array. So I will just say array here. And the second argument is a minimum value. So I will just say mean here, right? And just specify arrow here and the curly braces right so this is our anonymous function just after that just after that i just wanted to specify default value to this minimum argument variable so i will just say here mean is equal to array and specify zero index to this minimum variable right you can do the same thing in the argument parameter like this i will just get rid of this statement and just click here and here i will say equal to array and specify zero index to the minimum variable right just after that in the mean function right here i will just create a for loop and start this for loop from zero so i will just say let i is equal to zero and specify condition i is less than array dot length right so we are going to end this for loop when the array is greater than the array dot length value right just after that i will just say i plus plus and just increase the value of i variable by one right now in the for loop block i will just create if condition so I will just say if and in the if expression I will say mean I will just call this variable is greater than array square bracket and specify i here and when this expression is evaluated to true I just wanted to execute mean is equal to array and in the square bracket i will say i here right so what we had done here i will just change the minimum value when this expression become true right suppose we have an array here so i will just say one two three four right so we have this array and we just wanted to find out the minimum number from this array so we first specified zero index to this array so we have one in the mean variable right so here what we will do is i will just check if i will just check if one is greater than array of i variable so it means the i variable is equal to 0 so the array is return the first index so it means it return 1 is greater than 1 this will return false right just after that the i variable value will increase by 1 and execute this if condition again and check if 1 is greater than two right so now we have one in the array index so the array is now equal to two right so the second expression will evaluate to true right because two is greater than one right so this statement will return true and we will just execute this statement and specify two to the mean variable right so mean variable have two right now 
Just after that, the value of the i variable will increase by 1, by 1, and right now we have 2 in the i variable, right? Now this expression will become true because we have 3 in the array right here and this become 2. So we have 2 here. Now when the i is equal to 2 then the array of i return 3, right? So this statement will return true because 2 is less than 3, right? And when this expression return true will specify minimum value to the i variable. So when this statement become true, we will just change the value of the minimum variable and change the mean value to 3, right? So this loop will get each element one by one and check the minimum value and store in the minimum variable, right? I will just get rid of this statement. And here at the last, I will just return mean variable right now here I will just create an array so I will just say constant a r r y is equal to and create an array here and specify array element so I will just say 1 2 4 3 0 and minus 3 right now here I just wanted to find out the minimum value of this array. So I will just say console.log and call the mean function and specify the first argument here. So we had specified array here. So we just wanted to specify array in the first argument. So I will just say array here, right? We don't want to specify minimum value because we already specified the default value to the second argument, right? So I will just execute this statement, right? So you will get your minimum value. You can print your message as well. So I will just say here, minimum value of an array element. Just after that, I just wanted to find out the maximum value of an array element. This is very simple. So I will just copy this function and print it here. I will just comment here and say maximum number and paste it here, right? And just change few variables. So I will just say mean to max here mean to max and I just want to change here also and here also and here right and and after that I just want to change this condition as well so this condition is right now check the minimum value of an array element to change this condition, you just need to specify an less than operator here, right? So now this function will return maximum number of an array element. So I will just say here, I will just copy this statement, paste it here and rename this maximum value of an array element and call the max function. Execute this again, right? So you will get your maximum number and this is your minimum number, right? This program is very simple to understand. It is very easy to find out minimum and maximum number, right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. If you find anything useful in this tutorial, then must press the like button. Share this video with your friends. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.